Welcome to my Chinese class. So this series of video is going to be a transition from the last series to the next one. In the last series, I have summarized the uh, most basic but very necessary knowledge you need as a beginner in Chinese, uh, including components of pinyin, uh, initials, finals, and tongues, uh, and Chinese characters' history, formation, and structure, uh, and the uh, basic introduction about 100 most common Chinese characters, uh, including its pronunciation, meaning, and strokes. Uh, all of this is to provide you a, a more logistic and efficient method for learning Chinese, uh, and to lay the groundwork for future lessons. Um, so if you haven't watched the last series, I highly recommend you watching it first, uh, otherwise you may get a bit lost in this one. And since the next series is going to be advanced classes, uh, in which I'll show you how those 100 most common characters are used in words, phrases, and sentences by giving out examples of uh, dialogues and paragraphs. Um, so after some serious consideration, I have decided to make this transition series. Um, you can think of this one as a uh, review and expansion of the last series, um, but also a uh, preview and warm up for the next one. In this series, I will introduce you some very common words that contain those 100 characters. Uh, in Chinese, characters make words, words make phrases, and phrases make sentences. Um, so by learning those common words, first you'll be able to expand your actual vocabulary, and second, you get to see how one character shares a similar meaning in different words, so that in the future, if you see a new word containing a character that you already knew, you'll be able to understand and memorize the word much faster. I'll show you an example here. So character zuo really means work. Uh, common words containing this character are 工作, 合作, 动作. Uh, you can see from the translation that all these words contain the meaning of work in some way, right? Uh, another character 品 has two main meanings. Uh, one is product, the other is taste. Uh, example words are 产品, 食品, 品味, 品尝. Um, so let's say if you have learned these two characters and have been familiar with these words, and now you see a new word, 作品. Uh, what do you think it means? I'll give you five seconds to guess. Yes, it means work, uh, but like your painting or article, that kind of work, uh, something you put your effort and work into and finally got a result, a product. So now you get the feeling how characters work in the world, uh, and that's the purpose of me making this transition series, to expand your vocabulary and uh, prepare you for the next series, of course, but more importantly, to cultivate your sense of learning Chinese. Uh, the whole series contains around 450 words, and uh, half of them we will show in the next series. Uh, and I would suggest you to uh, get familiar with them in a month, so that's like 15 words a day. Uh, but don't have the pressure, okay? Uh, you don't. If you feel like it's too difficult for you, you can totally take your time. Um, and um, you don't have to feel like you have to remember how to write them. It's totally unnecessary. Um, all I'm suggesting is that uh, get your ears and eyes familiar with them. Like, um, if you hear the pronunciation, you can tell what word it is and um, can think of its meaning. And better, if you see the words, you can pronounce it yourself. And that's the goal you should aim for. Uh, also, the next series should be ready by the time you finish this one. So I uh, hope by then you are all prepared, okay? 加油! Bye-bye!